This is Clinia fulgens, also known as Coral Sinitio or Sinitio fulgens. This would have to be the oldest plant in my collection. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This is a 40-year-old Clinia fulgens and I've had it for over two years now. It is very slow to grow and this is the first time it flowered. And look at the flower, very... Okay, I'm gonna let it sit there. There you go, so you can focus on it. It's beautiful and it hasn't all opened up. There's still little bits in there that's still close off, but... Oh, isn't that beautiful? Nice little orange. It's like a nice shade, beautiful shade of orange. Especially against that blue pot there. I got this plant in 2018 on one of our prospecting trips to Queensland. The lady I got this plant from told me that she migrated to Australia in 1977. And she brought this plant with her. So it was only a small cutting, as I understand. At that time when I got it, she said it's at least 40 years old. So the story was, is that she brought this plant in with her. And from this plant, she's already taken many cuttings. Because when I first saw this plant, the one that attracted me to the plant was the growth of the stem or the codex that it was showing so i'm just trying to now observe this plant there's i think might be new growth showing on this plant but anyway i'll get on with that later on but when i first saw this plant it was only a small codex showing on the bottom there that the top part of it is what i saw and i really like it because of that codex i asked her how much this plant is and she said this is eight dollars well, there's also a few cuttings of this plant sitting next to this old lady here. And I asked her about the small cuttings and they were $10. Well, I asked her how come this old plant is with a beautiful codex showing is cheaper than the new ones. So for me, I would sell this plant. Well, I would put a higher price on this plant than the newer plant and then she said to me because it's an old plant and that's where the story came out that she brought it with her in 1977 when she first migrated to Australia from England. So since acquiring this plant all I did was just observe it. I even have to look up the name online to see what sort of plant this is because she hasn't given me a name. Now this plant has been growing out here in my covered area for the length of time that I have it and I don't know much about this plant except it is quite frost hardy so it's already experienced minus 11 but in a covered area so I haven't really tried exposing it yet to a more open location but this year I will definitely take some cuttings and that way I can do my experimentations and see how hardy it is. So on this stem that has flowered before or where the flowers, so that's still the dried up part uh, or the stem of that flower. Now you can see on the nodes, every single node has got new growth, just about that one sort of pimpling up and even down here starting to show some new growth. So hopefully this will thicken up and I can take some cuttings, but so it seems right now I can't do that because even the stems itself is starting to show some, I don't know whether that's roots or new plants or new shoots growing from it. But I meant to repot this and expose the codex here, which is just so interesting as you can see, Look at that. So as I dig deeper, hang on, a bit dark, you can see that there's new codex forming. So this will be a beautiful plant to expose just like a desert rose, those adeniums that you see with the bulbous root system. Look at that. It's not beautiful. It's just gorgeous. At the moment, 
I am not going to do anything with this plant apart from just grow it in my 50% UV shade cloth area. I will be observing this plant more to see how it grows. To those of you who's watching this video and have the same Kleenia fulgens, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a comment below and share your growing experience with this plant because by the time I take some cuttings and grow this plant, it would take me another couple of years before I could even share my experience with this beautiful plant. Thank you so much for watching and hope I'll see you on the next video. And look at the codex. Look at that. I meant to, okay, transplant that. Look at those two of them now. Oh, it's beautiful. This stem now is forming another codex or little round balloon. Look at that. It, and the plant itself, the leaves are sort of like a pale blue green, sort of powdery look with dark tips like red edges. And it's sort of spiky. It is quite a beautiful plant.